Hello everyone, Fiskus here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one we will cover the AGM-84A Harpoon Missile, which is a subsonic anti-ship cruise missile designed to target and destroy enemy surface vessels. It uses a combination of mid-course guidance and active radar homing to accurately strike its target. This video will focus on Range and Bearing Launch RBL mode. Bearing Only Launch BOL mode will be covered on a different video. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation about all the technical aspects of the Harpoon and its associated systems, but I believe that if you follow this tutorial, you will be able to use this weapon effectively. Let's get into it. In order to use the Harpoon in RBL mode, the target's exact position should be known beforehand. On the 2D map, right-click on the naval unit, then click on Recon. Once the recon page is open, select one steer point between steer point 90 and 99, and then click Accept. Unlike what I normally do with other weapons, when I use steer point 99 in decreasing for individual target locations, in order to use harpoons in RBL mode, a steer point in this range must be selected from 90 to 99. I'm going to stick with 99. Once you're done, go to the data cartridge, make sure that the steer point for the weapon is correct, and then click on save. When you're inside the aircraft, go to aeroground mode. On the SMS page, power on the harpoons. Note that unlike other weapons, where pressing the power on OSB will power on every weapon of the type loaded on the aircraft, harpoons need to be powered on individually. So, press the power on OSB for the weapon on the selected station, then cycle to a different station by pressing the OSBs next to it, or the nose wheel steering slash missile step button on your stick, and do the same for the weapon on that station. Once your harpoons are powered on, go to the weapon page. For this page, unlike what I normally do, I will describe the fields in a counterclockwise manner. The first OSB is for the search area, which can be large, medium, or small. I recommend using large for longer range shots or if the enemy task force is moving. Use medium or small if the enemy ships are stationary or for shorter range shots. If you use medium or small at longer ranges and the enemy ships are moving, there is a possibility that they will sail out of the harpoon search area and will not be detected by the missile. When the selected search area is large, the Harpoon search priority options will be displayed underneath. The options available are Norm, Near, Far, Left, and Right. Back to Norm. The Norm search priority is the default selection and commands the missile to begin its target search in the center of the search area and expand outwards in all directions. The Near selection commands the missile to begin its target search at the front of the search area and expand its search to the left, right and back of the search area. The far selection commands the missile to begin its search at the back of the search area and expand its search to the left, right and front of the search area. The left selection commands the missile to begin its search at the left side of the search area and expand the search to the front, back and right of the search area. The right command commands the missile to begin its search at the right side of the search area and expand the search towards the front, back and left of the search area. Selecting an option other than norm is useful when the target is in a cluster and its position within the cluster is not at the center. After that we have the missile's fly out mode, which can be low or high. When low is selected the missile goes for a low altitude flight profile immediately after launch. This can help minimize its detection by the enemy ship. When high is selected, using RBL, the missile remains at a higher altitude initially, descending to a lower altitude at 10 nautical miles from the target. This can be useful if there are obstacles between the launching point and the target. The final field is for the Harpoon Terminal Maneuver, which can be either POP or SKIM. With POP selected, the missile will execute a pop-up maneuver as it's about to hit the target, and generally make itself harder to track and hit by a defended target. With skim, the missile will continue to fly directly at the target and will impact it near the waterline. At the center of the MFD, under the green line, we have the missile's pre-launch data. This consists of the selected steer point for the missile, 
the missile's estimated time of flight, and at what time it will impact the target. This information will be repeated above the green line for any missiles that have already been launched. In order to select the target steer point you have configured on the 2D map for the missile to use, you have to use the ICP and the DED. Select list and then press 1. Now enter the target steer point, in this case 99. As you can see the information displayed on the DED changed. Use your ICP rocker and press sequence. Use your ICP rocker to go through the fields. Make sure that the correct steer point is selected. Go down one field and then input the rough direction your aircraft will be relative to the target when you launch. In my case, I'll be launching the weapons at 170 degrees relative to the target. Underneath that is roughly at what range from the target you will be when you launch. I intend to launch at 80 nautical miles. However, the format by default is in feet. Use your ICP rocker until you have the format selected. Then press 1 to cycle through the formats. It goes from feet to kilometer to nautical miles. After nautical miles is selected, go back up with the ICP rocker and input the value. Hey everyone, Editor Physics here. While finishing editing this video, I noticed that I said I intended to launch the weapon at 80 nautical miles, which is not possible. The furthest range at which you can launch, to my knowledge, and as far as I've tested, is roughly 65 nautical miles. I correct this mistake in the demonstration later in the video. Apologies for the correct information. On the HUD, the symbology is similar to many other weapons you're already familiar with. Try to maintain the azimuth steering line near the flight path marker. On the right, you have the dynamic launch zone. The carrot that moves along the DLZ will display the range to the target. Once the carrot is inside the DLZ, press and hold the weapon release button. Repeat the process to launch the second weapon. And there we have it. Despite being relatively complicated to use, harpoons are one of the best weapons to use in the anti-shipping mission. They can be launched at extreme ranges, minimizing your exposure to any defenses the target might have as well as other threats in the area. I hope this tutorial was helpful, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.